All right, you guys, good morning, everyone. Ready for another awesome week of gymnastics here. I've got my wizard cape on that my mom made for me many, many years ago. So I'm ready to do my magical, magical gymnastics with my wizard cape. And because it's gonna fly up, I tucked it in, you know, kind of like you tuck your shirt in. We'll see if it works, I might have to take it off. All right, you guys, we're gonna get started today. We need today, though, at some, at a little bit later on, we're gonna need our chair, a good chair that we can sit in to do some holds, to do some pushing up in our support positions. So we're gonna need some kind of chair or a couch, or you can even use a coffee table. We're gonna use something like that today, okay? All right, let's start off with our good wall handstands. We're gonna do different kinds of handstands. The first one, we're gonna walk our feet up, we're gonna walk our hands about one foot away from the wall, and we're gonna hold super straight handstand, okay? Right up there for 15 seconds. Here we go. Hands down, walking feet up, nice and close. For 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, zero. Good job on the wall of handstands there, you guys. Excellent. Okie dokie. Next kind of wall handstand. We're going to try to step our feet up on the wall. We're going to try to take five steps to the side and then five steps back to the other side. Okay? Sideways walking on the wall. Sideways walking. Here we go. Let's do it. Hands down. Feet up and five steps. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And back. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Five good steps along the wall like that. Good. That's good for getting to get straight, pushing, pushing, pushing through our arms. It's going to help us with all kinds of gymnastic skills, all kinds of skills, okay? All right. You guys, let's do that handstand walking one more time. Five steps down, five steps back. Some of you guys, if you've been doing gymnastics for a long time, you could try it just on the floor with no wall. You could try five steps forward, five steps backwards just on the floor, okay? All right, one more time. Here we go. Hands down, feet up. Let's take those five steps. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and back. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, handstand walking. So remember, those of you who've been doing it for a while, you can try your steps. One, two, three, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, five. That's what you can do to make it a little bit harder to do your five steps with no wall, just like that. All right, next kind of wall handstand that, we, that we're gonna try. We're gonna try kicking up to the wall backwards like this, okay? Now, we wanna do this nice and slow. We don't want to go wham up against the wall. We're going to do nice little kicks and see if we can touch our one foot to the wall first. We can just do nice slow, one foot on the wall and right back down. Okay, it's nice and slow. And when we start out, I'm just trying to touch my one foot and come back down. Okay, let's do five of them. Just nice and easy, one foot touch, right back down. Good. My hands are nice and close to the wall, nice and close to the wall. Just try and go one foot touch, come back down. Good. Let's do two more. Here we go. One foot touch, come back down. Good. One more time. Just one foot. Try and go one foot touch, and then back down. Good. Okie dokie. Now, we can see if we can get one foot to touch, and then the other foot to touch, okay? So, hands are nice and close to the wall still, and I'm going to go one foot, and then the other foot, and then back down. Okay? Let's do four more. And this time, when we get, when we get our feet up to the wall, we'll try to make our legs nice and straight up there. So, one foot, and then the other foot, and then back down. Good. This is a hard one. This is a tough one. Let's try it again. Three more. One foot, other foot. And back down. Good. Getting that nice one foot at a time so it goes up a little slower because we don't want to wham go hard up against the wall like that. Here we go. One foot, other foot. Good. All right, one more. Last one. Here we go. Good hands. Take. There it is. Good. 
not doing those good handstands that way. Okay, now, next kind of handstand we're gonna try up against the wall. We're gonna work on our hand balancing because we want to be able to do our handstand eventually. I'm gonna put my cape over here on this side so you can see me. We want to be able to do our handstand where we just balance on our hands without even using the wall at all, okay? That's gonna take a long time and a lot of practice. And one of the ways that we can start is by putting our hands down, walk our feet up, one foot against the wall, and one foot in the air. And then we'll do just little taps, little taps off the wall. And that way we can practice how to balance on our hands, okay? So let's do it. We'll do a handstand, one foot against the wall, one foot in the air for 10 seconds, and we'll do little taps off the wall, okay? Here we go. On your marks, get set, go. One foot and little taps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. There we go. Doing those just little bitty taps. We don't want to do big jumps off the wall. We want to be balanced almost in a perfect handstand. And we're just using our foot to balance us and we can feel our hands start to control where our body is. So we're controlling that handstand, okay? Let's do that one more time. 10 second handstand, one foot on the wall, and just little taps off the wall like that, okay? Here we go. Arm marks, get set, and go. Little taps off the wall. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Good job up there, you guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, we'll catch our breath for a second. You guys, we're gonna show you a little trick here. I've been working on getting some of my juggling tricks back. This would be good for a wizard doing magic to have be able to do juggling. But you know what? I'm gonna put these over here. I'm gonna need to do this. All right, so I've been working on my juggling tricks like this. And I can do the ones where I'm going under like that. And I could do the ones where I'm going over the top like that. Been learning these this morning. Oh, here's one. Here. There we go. All right. The one that I've been having trouble with is going behind my back. Cool. Let me try it. Ah, oh, man. Oh, so close. Let me try again. I got this. Behind my back. Ah. Oh, oh, no. You know what I need to do? Here's what I need to do. Instead of juggling with balls like that, I need to juggle with water balloons. This is going to work really well. All right. Oh, man. Juggling with water balloons. Yikes. Little ones. Big ones. Ah, I'm terrified. Oh. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. There's your little juggling for the day. There's some juggling for the day. All right, you guys. Now, we're going to use our chair, okay? So, let's go over and let's find our chair. I'm going to move my juggling tennis balls out of the way so I don't slip on them. Here's what we're going to do on our chair, okay? I'm going to dry my hands off from the water. Okay. We gotta work on our support holds so we get super, super strong in our arms and in our stomach, okay? So we're gonna push up on our hands and hold our feet up off the ground. And we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds, okay? Here we go, on your marks, get set, and go. Push up and hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, very good, very good, you guys, excellent. Okay, next strength hold, we're gonna do our straddle L, okay? If you have a chair like me, you can do it facing this way, okay? If you're on a couch or you're on a coffee table, you can do it like this and put your legs out in your straddle like that, okay? All right, if you're on a chair like me, you can put your legs this way. Okay, 10 seconds, our good straddle L hold. Here we go, on your marks, get set, and go, legs out, 10, 9, 8, go, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
Oh, that's good, you guys. We're getting strong in there. We're getting strong in there. All right, we got one more kind of strength hold to do. We're gonna do our L position, our L position now, okay? So, it's the same that we did up just like our tuck position, except this time we're gonna to try to keep our legs straight out and hold our legs straight out for 10 seconds, okay? Here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. Legs straight out, 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. There we go, that good L position in there, excellent. Okay, let's do some more kinds of things that we can do in the chair. Now we're gonna come around to the back of the chair. Or you can hold on to the side of your couch if you're on the, if you have a couch that you're using. And you hold on to the back of our chair. Now, we're gonna put our one arm nice and tall and our nice high crown with our fingers, kind of like we're holding a sandwich up there. And we're gonna do our leg raises, kind of keep our leg very straight, toe pointed. We want our leg to go up above horizontal, above straight out, okay? 10 leg raises, head up nice and high, arm graceful, nice straight legs, 10 times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Now we'll switch it around, we'll do the other side, okay? Keep our head up, arm up, nice and tall and graceful and elegant, and straight leg and pointed toe, Leg up above horizontal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, you guys. Good. Building that strength in our legs, our hip flexors, our stomach. Building that flexibility so we can have nice, big, long, graceful gymnastics, okay? All right, now, back again. This time, we're gonna kick our leg back to the back, okay? And this time we're gonna put our arm out to the side, out wide to the side while we do this one, okay? Arm to the side, leg straight, toe pointed, 10 good kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, good, good. Okay, same thing again, but going with the other leg this time. Arm out nicely to the side. Big kicks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job there, you guys, 10 good leg kicks. Okay, we got one more kind of leg kick here. This time we're gonna go out to the side. So we're gonna hold on with both hands and our leg is gonna sweep in front of us and it's gonna lift as high as we can to the side. So we're holding our hands, Leg sweeps in front and lifts to the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Good leg kicks. We gotta really concentrate on keeping our leg nice and straight and tight. Okay? This is a lot like they do in uh, classes um, for dance and ballet too, because a lot of gymnastics and dance and ballet is very similar in some pieces. So this type of strength you may have seen before in your dance and ballet classes. All right, 10 times to the other side. Here we go. Up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, you guys, good leg kicks there, good strength. All right, we've got one last thing to do with our chair. Here's what we're gonna do with our chair, last thing. We're gonna to try to balance on our chair where we're just sitting down and we've got our feet up just like that, okay? But we wanna hold it so our back's not resting against anything. We're just sitting and we're holding our feet up and we're gonna balance sitting down with our feet up and we're gonna see if we can hold it like this while we say the letters of the alphabet backwards. Oh, I hope I can do this. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? Z, Y, X, W, B, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, H, K, J, I, H, G, F, 
E D C B A. <laughs> that is tough. My brain hurts now. It hurts. <laughs> that was good, you guys. A good balancing, trying to count the alphabet backwards or say the alphabet backwards. That's good. All right. Speaking of silly human tricks, let's practice some silly human tricks, okay? Let's try this one first. We're going to do arm circles first, okay? Arm circles. So, we're going to start with our arms up, okay? And we're going to circle them forwards, like that. Good. Okay. Now we have them up, and we're going to circle them backwards. Backwards. Yeah. Now, start with them up and circle one forwards, one backwards. One forwards, one backwards. Yeah, that's hard, isn't it? <laughs> it's all about how you start. You gotta start with them up, and start one forwards, one backwards, and then you'll be able to get it. And if it's starting to be easy for you, you can try to go both ways. You can try to go both ways. Oh. And around and around. Okay, that's super hard. It's really tough for your brain to do that. Okay, here we go. Another silly human trick. Fingertips together, just like this, okay? And we're gonna circle one hand forwards and one hand backwards as we do that circle. Okay, so you look at it from the side. And you go one forwards and one backwards. One forwards and one backwards. And you can then you try to go the other way too. One forwards and one backwards. That's really hard. <laughs> it looks easy after you've been practicing it for way too long, but when you first start, it's really hard to do that. It's really hard for your brain to do that. So that's a fun one. Okay, here we go. One more, one more. Silly human tricks. We got our hands, right? Okay, so you guys might have seen this where you make your hands go like that, right? And then you can also make your hands go like this with your pinky and index finger. And then you can alternate Alternate like that. Yes. Okay, and then you can do this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, try that. That is tough. There you go. You guys could tell I grew up in the country and we didn't have a TV, so we had to make up stuff to do all the time. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got to move along. We got to do our next things, our next things. All right, let's do our flexibility, flexibility. Here we go. Right, we're sitting in our straddle position. We'll get started like this. Reach our hand way over. Hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. And over down to the other side. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero, good. All right, let's try to go as far down in the middle as we can, as far as we can. Good, 10, nine, eight, keep going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. All right, let's work on our splits for just a minute, on our good splits for just a minute, okay? Then we gotta do our bridges and the last couple things. All right, so for those splits, front leg very straight, one hand on either side. We're gonna slide down. We're gonna really work hard today. Push as far as we can. I can almost do the splits again, I'm so close. Let's hold it as far as we can for 10 seconds. Hold it still, 10, nine, eight, keep going, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job, you guys. And remember what we said when we're working things like those splits, trying to get more flexible, we have to hold it still because our muscles have to have time to relax and then they'll start to stretch and get longer. So we have to hold still for the whole stretch and we should feel it hurt a little bit, not a lot, it, but you should feel it hurt a little bit and that's when you know that you're really at the maximum of your flexibility and you're really uh, getting, getting more flexible there, okay? All right, other side. One leg in front of us, one hand on either side, slide down as far as we can, push in there. Good, got to hold still, it hurts a little bit, and that's good. And hold it, 10 more seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, zero, good, that's it. And the other thing that we talked about before that you want to mention again is you don't want to be pushing on your brothers and sisters in their splits. That's not good in the flexibility to have people pushing on you real hard. That's not good. So don't do that at home. If your brother and your sister, you're doing it together, you don't push on each other in the splits. Okay, here we go. Middle splits. Legs out wide to the side. As far as we can with straight legs. It hurts a little bit. Now we're gonna hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, good. 4, 3, 2, one, zero, good, good. All right, good job there, you guys. Now, we gotta do those good bridges, good bridges. Gonna try to, the socks are slippery, so I'm gonna take my socks off. You got your socks on, 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 on I'm gonna take them off, but they're slippery. We're gonna try to get our arms straight, our legs straight, and our feet together in this good bridge, okay? Here we go, on your marks. Get set, and go, good. Just trying to make them all straight, good, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, that was good. You guys, that one's hard for me. I'm still working on getting that bridge flexibility. That one's a tough one for me. That one's hard. Whew. Okay, we gotta do one more good bridge. And this time we can get our one leg straight up in the air. One leg straight up in the air in this good bridge, okay? And we're not gonna be able to see our leg because we'll be backwards in the bridge. And a lot of times when our one leg is up, it's bent like that. So you really gotta think about what your leg feels like and squeeze and you gotta feel your muscles squeeze to try to make your leg straight when it's up in the air, okay? Here we go, let's do it. On your marks, get set. And go, push it up and straight. There we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. There we go. Good job, you guys. Okie dokie crew. We got one more thing we're gonna work on today. One more thing we're gonna work on, okay? Our handstand up against the wall. We're gonna do a super long handstand today. We're gonna see if you can do a handstand for one minute. One minute handstand, 60 seconds. We're gonna put our hands down, we're gonna walk our feet up, and we're gonna see if we can hold it there for 60 seconds, you guys. Doing these handstands up against the wall is so good because in gymnastics, we want our arms to be just as strong as our legs. And if we can run and jump around on our legs, we wanna be able to run and jump around on our arms. So we gotta do lots of handstands up against the wall, okay? Whew, let's catch our breath. All right, we're gonna do last thing, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. We got this, you guys, we got this. Here we go, on your marks, get set, and go. Walk it up there, good, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40. You got it, guys. Do it, do it. You can do it. There we go. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. <sighs> you guys, that was awesome. 60 seconds, 60 seconds. Oh man, tell you what, as you get a little bit older, the blood starts running into your head a little more when you're in your handstand. <laughs> All right, you guys, one of my favorite things though, in a handstand, I got to compete in the NCAA in college, the College of William & Mary. And one year, our team was a big deal for us. We made it to the, to the championships, the NCAA championships. We were one of the teams there. We were the last place team there, but it was the first time we ever made the championships. So it's pretty cool. And I have a banquet, and there's a man, George Nissen, who invented some different gymnastics equipment a long time ago. And he was at the banquet, 
and George Nissen was 80 years old, and he got up on the banquet table, at the middle of the banquet, he got up on the dining table, and he kicked up, and he held his handstand, and he was 80 years old, on top of the banquet table, at the NCAA championships. How cool was that? <laughs> That was awesome. That's one of my favorite handstands. All right, you guys, good job today. Nice work on your gymnastics. Uh, we have our Zoom classes going. If you want to join us um, at 11 a.m. Monday through Friday, and we'll do those types of exercises on our Zoom classes. And then we have our summer camps. If you want to jump in and have a week of summer camp, we've got summer camps going on too. And hopefully July, maybe August, we'll have all our regular classes start back as well. All right, good job today, you guys. We'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.